Well, Dave, there is a lot of amazing things going on at the purification plant, and this is one of the spots because as people drive by, they can see a lot of the things that are going on, have a lot of questions about it, but we're subterranean now, and this is a spot where a lot of people are not able to visit, so thank you for bringing us down into no the basement. No problem. But anyway, I know that we've got some backwash pipes going on and some other yeah. things. What is going on down here? We're actually in one of our treatment trains, what we refer to as the pipe gallery. So we're actually below the filters and sedimentation basins. And what this is, is really one of the last stops of the water while it's in our purification plant. So by the time the water comes down out of the filters, there's been filtered. From these pipes, it's delivered in for storage into one of our clear wells. We have 12 filters here. Over time, those filters may need to be refreshed. And so we are actually able to backwash those filters. We have the different color of pipe here. The pipe with the blue contain the water that has been filtered and will be delivered for drinking water. And then when the filters need to be backwashed, that water will be delivered through these lighter green pipes here. So I see you're analyzing something over here. What exactly is going on in this system? These are turbidimeters and these analyze the clarity of the water. And these readouts here are the same readouts that an operator will see when they're in the control room operating the SCADA system. We are required to have an operator present 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In other words, we never close. So no they, Christmas off, <laughs> no Thanksgiving, yeah. someone, no New someone Year's. Someone does get to work during the holidays. Um, but so the operator we have today, his name is Derek Guffey, and he is here in charge of the plant. Now Derek, I'm curious, what actually got you into your career in the water industry? Believe it or not, uh, I fa actually found an uh, advertisement in the newspaper for a water job, which actually started me off across the street at the Cross Valley Canal. and. Uh, Five years there, after that I moved over to here and I've been here for four years. And what do you find most interesting about this whole filtration process? The job itself is very interesting, but apart from the job on the outside, the thing I find most interesting is really uh, serving our community because the operators that operate plants like this, they have to have the dedication, the knowledge and the diligence to provide the best quality product that we can. That kind of responsibility I find interesting and very rewarding. Well, you do have a big responsibility because you're in the control room. Correct. Everything is remotely controlled. We can do everything from this station you see right here, where you're seeing on the screen is almost accurate almost all the time. But whenever we see something, we always back it up by a bench test over there at our testing station or physically go out to the device that might be showing an alarm and see if uh, it's actually happening. Well, Derek, I know you have a lot of responsibility up here, and Olivia, we're gonna put some of that on you right now if you're ready. All right. You wanna take Derek over and we'll do a little bench test? Sure, All right. absolutely. Well, this is our bench testing area where we do all different kinds of testing on the water um, that comes into the plant and leaves the plant. So right here we have a TOC machine, which is a total organic carbon. Here we test things like hardness, chlorides that could be in the water. This would be our pH testing unit. and our bleach or chlorine testing. And the last one which we're gonna show you guys is turbidity. Tested in NTUs, which are nephilometric turbidity units. That's a big word, but basically all it is is the clarity of the water. So how clear is the water? Is it really cloudy or is it really easy to see through? And basically what the machine does is it shines a light through the sample and gives you a numerical readout of exactly how clear the water is. So we'll do a test on our raw water, which is our incoming water and then we'll do a test on our outgoing water. So anyway, so we'll take our little vial out here and we'll dump the old sample out. We'll take a sample of our raw water. We gotta make sure it's clean so we don't have any errant uh, results. And then we'll just pop it in there. 
We wait for the readout, so it's shining the light through it right now, and basically we have a number of 0.73. Okay, so if you remember that number, it's uh, two tenths under a whole one. All right, we'll take it out now and we'll dump that out. We'll give it three rinses. Let it clean again. So what you're seeing is the beginning and the end. And, and in the middle here, what you have is, is samples from the entire process until the end. So sedimentation, filtration, through our clear wells, which basically store the water before we send it out through our distribution system. And then this is the end at the distribution system. And as it goes through the system, the water should get more and more clean until it ends up at the final. So as you can see, it's going down. So we started at 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, and now we're down to, uh, should stabilize at about a 0.08 right now. So that's just one of the tests we do to make sure that the water that we're sending out to the customers is clean, safe, pure. All right, so what does this machine do? So this instrument is an instrument we use to measure metals. And as I, I said, it has about four different methods of doing so.